What's up guys? Today I present to you the world's first Phantom 2 Vision Plus complete conversion to Zenmuse Gimbal GoPro Edition. Just to get this out of the way before I say anything else, um, this is definitely not the most cost effective way to go if you ever want to completely change your Vision Plus and you have a Vision Plus and you want to use a GoPro. It's definitely not the most cost effective way. I definitely recommend a, a Phantom 3 standard if that's the case, because that will probably be cheaper than completely buying a new Zenmuse gimbal and totally converting everything over to the 5.8 gigahertz analog FPV along with the GoPro. I'm pretty sure the costs are around the same, but the Phantom 3 standard is just a lot less work and a lot less of a headache for people who don't know a lot about the DJI Phantom series like I do. However, a more cost-effective way that would work if you have a GoPro is to just take a vibration isolator such as this one that I have here, attach a GoPro mount to it, or get a cheap gimbal off of Amazon that runs independently of the Phantom, and just use that as your FPV thing along as using a FPV transmitter like this one right here. So without further ado, let's look at the process and materials that you need to complete this mod. So of course you're going to need a Zenmuse H2 HD, H3 HD, or H4 HD, or some other gimbal or mounting plate. You're going to need, of course, a GoPro Hero 3 or Hero 4, and an FPV transmitter and receiver. Now, depending on what frequency your transmitter and receiver for FPV run at, that will depend on if you are going to switch out the receiver and transmitter for your Phantom 2's RC control. The standard FPV frequency is 5.8 GHz, however, the Phantom 2 runs on 5.8 GHz for control. So when you try to use FPV and use the Phantom's control at the same time, you'll get interference lines running down your monitor. Therefore, if you're using 5.8 GHz for FPV, you will need to do a transmitter and receiver switch for the Phantom. This is my old 5.8 GHz receiver. They're usually green, and the 2.8 GHz receivers are usually black. I've already installed mine on my Phantom, but I will show a picture up on screen while I'm talking here to give you an idea of, of what the installation looks like. If desired, you can also add an IOSD and data port that connect with your FPV transmitter to get live information about the battery status and telemetry data of your Phantom during flight. Inside your Phantom, you will also find a silver box. That is a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi module that connects with your phone. This can be removed as it will not be needed with the FPV analog transmitter. After installing your 2.4 GHz receiver, you're also going to have to bind it to a new 2.4 GHz compatible remote. Unfortunately, the standard Vision remote is not compatible with 2.4 GHz. As I said earlier, it only transmits at 5.8 GHz. Most 2.4 GHz controllers are also the upgraded version, meaning that they have a gimbal wheel that will allow you to control the gimbal without using the DJI Vision app. This is completely necessary if you're planning to adjust the gimbal for getting certain shots. After binding the new controller, you're also going to have to go on your computer and use the Phantom 2 app to calibrate the sticks on the transmitter and also the gimbal wheel. Here are the steps in rough order of what I did to completely convert the Phantom from a Vision Plus to a Zenmuse gimbal. First you take off the old gimbal, then you remove the mounting plate, then you open up your Phantom and remove the internal Wi-Fi module, which is the silver box. You will not be needing this because you will be using 5.8 GHz or other transmissions to get your video signal. Plug in the FPV transmitter and IOSD if applicable with data port, change the receiver, plug in the camera cable from the Zenmuse and anti-interference board into the Zenmuse plug on the CCB. Attach the Zenmuse gimbal. Overall, this was a really cool project that was really awesome to do after having years of me not even wanting to even touch the inside of my Phantom to me going to completely modding it out into something that was much, much more reliable than the regular Vision FPV system. As I said before, this mod isn't necessarily a viable option money-wise, but it was really cool to see that it's actually possible due to the fact that I've never seen it done anywhere else. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And if you would like to see an actual build video or want any other information about this, uh, then just comment down below and I'll see if I can get around to either making a video or giving you some information in the comment section. As for right now, I'll see you guys in the next video.